people in Alberta and Saskatchewan uh, have been suffering and struggling. I have already indicated in my conversations with uh, Nahid Nenshi and my uh, upcoming conversations with people like uh, uh, Don Iveson and Charlie Clark and uh, Michael Fougere and others uh, that uh, I very much want to hear the concerns uh, that folks uh, are experiencing and the solutions that they have to put forward. Justin Trudeau wants to work for all of Canada. How the heck did that happen? Uh, the Prime Minister finally held his media availability after the election, and the guy that was basically shut out from Winnipeg to downtown Vancouver is saying he understands that Alberta and Saskatchewan feel left out. So what did he say he would do about it? Well, specifically, he mentioned that he's been talking to people like Edmonton Mayor Don Iveson, Saskatoon Mayor Charlie Clark, two known leftists, to talk about it, he didn't say, I've talked to Scott Moe, I've talked to Jason Kenney. He said, I've talked to these two very left-wing mayors. I mean, like, if you don't know Charlie Clark, his nickname is Bike Lanes Clark. This is the guy that Justin Trudeau says he's going to help put out the prairie fire that Scott Moe says is going on. So do we take Justin Trudeau seriously on this? No. No, I don't think that we can at this point. The man bought a pipeline. Yes, I get it. The NDP pointed that out all through the election campaign. And so did the Liberals. They kept saying, we love Alberta. We love the oil industry. We bought a pipeline. Yes, but you haven't built it yet. And you show no instinct, no ability to get it built. So we need to see something concrete done. Otherwise, wags it. The Western exit plan, you know, a takeoff of Brexit, is going to continue to grow. Jason Kenney, the Premier of Alberta, has sent a five-page letter with all kinds of demands, all kinds of concerns, and I don't think they're being taken seriously. Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe has said that he has his own issues and that, that there is a prairie fire going on that Justin Trudeau needs to put out. And Justin Trudeau just doesn't seem to get it. How on earth is he going to have any representation around the cabinet table from this area? Well, he can't appoint a senator. He kicked all the liberal senators out of his caucus. He says that they're all independent senators now. Oh, my word. It's going to be a bizarre time over the next little while. Uh, Parliament will come back on uh, in and around November 18th. Cabinet will be sworn in on and around November 20th. So in between now and then, there's going to be an awful lot of positioning going on by politicians across the political spectrum. That includes from Jason Kenney, from Scott Moe, from Doug Ford. We can expect him to come out swinging against Justin Trudeau over the next little while. And we can expect Justin Trudeau himself to do his own pre-positioning. But we've also got to expect that the bloc is going to lay down their markers. And unlike Western Canada, Justin Trudeau, like most Canadian politicians, takes the concerns of Quebec much more seriously, which is part of the problem when it comes to national unity in this country. Let's hope that over this coming parliament that we can grow up and take the concerns of all parts of the country seriously, rather than telling Quebec, we get what you are saying, we understand your concerns and we will deal with them, while telling the rest of the country to go pound sand.